who appeared on the uh, Slap Maxwell program and also on uh, China Beach. It's a pleasure to welcome her back here tonight, Megan Gallagher. Are you back there, Megan? Kind of an odd night. Yeah, snake decapitation. Yeah, have you ever, ever, ever eaten a <laughs> snake? Yeah, I did. Where, where about? In Wikiup, Arizona. Uh huh. And and out there, people eat it on a <laughs> regular basis. All the time. Basis, yeah. Yeah. And and how did it taste? I think there's a law. It's like the compulsory. You, you have know, to eat snake. You have to eat snake once a week. How was it cooked, and how did it taste? Um, it tasted a little like chicken. Yeah. Yeah. No, it t it was uh, it was fried, uh -huh. and it didn't have its skin on it, yeah. and it just looked bad. But it was it was kind of okay. Yeah. They, oh, it'd be interesting. Maybe they can also just curl it up and put it on a bun. <laughs> Um, where, where are you from? Are you from that part of the country? No, I'm from Pennsylvania. I see. And, and what... In fact, I think the last time you were here, you talked about, is it the Pennsylvania Dutch country? Is yeah, Amish the, country. The Amish country. Yeah, I got in a lot of trouble because I went to my 10th high school reunion, and people were really mad because I said that everybody there was fat. Oh, really? Well, yeah. that's, that's... And they're not... They're th what I meant to say was that they were thin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Waste like are you having a good summer? I'm having a great summer, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you celebrate Labor Day at all? Do anything for that? Yeah, I did celebrate Labor Day, but uh, this weekend I flew in from California on mm -hmm. Saturday, and it was by far the worst flight of my entire life. Is that right? What? I was bumped uh -huh. from my flight. I got up at 5.30 in the morning on Saturday and to get this 8 o'clock flight. I get to the airport. And I'm bumped. And even now, though now you're holding a ticket, you have a reservation. I'm holding a ticket. They tell me to go to one. I go to three different lines. Uh -huh. um, I, I have to get on like a 10:35 flight then. And there was an eight o'clock flight that took off, and right. they lied to me about it, and I didn't get on it. But now, how, how did they bump you? Why did they bump you? Well, you see, you don't. They don't tell you. They said that the flight was canceled, and then you, you know, you sort of hear these little whispers on the wind about mechanical failure or mm -hmm. something. You know, and you, yeah. it's like. Um, so, uh, and, and the airport, it was all, it was an international flight, even though I was flying domestic. Right. So it's like Bangladesh, you yeah. know, you walk in and, and there's like livestock and, and boxes and... People eating snakes. People eating snakes. But, and, but you know, you're saying that yeah. the flight took off, so they, they lied to you about it being canceled? Yeah, there was an 8 o'clock flight, and I found this out at 10 to 8. Really? Yeah. So I don't know, maybe it's like a personal thing. They would actually not tell you the <laughs> truth about a flight taken off? Well, this is what happened. Yeah. I tried to check my stuff at the curb, and the guy said, no, 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 it's canceled. It's not taken and then off. I went, yeah. yeah. And then I went inside and, and stood on all these lines, and then it was too late. It seemed like it would be tough to keep that a secret, though, that a plane was taken I, off. <laughs> well, you know, we were in the other part of the airport. So <laughs> I see. Uh, so then you finally got on the, the, uh, the later flight, and you got in okay. Yeah, well, no, I, I got in, and, and the pilot said, I thought I was going to get in at like 4. Mm -hmm. The pilot says, we're going to get in at 7. Right. We got in at 10 to 7, and then we sat on the ground for an hour and a half. And they make you sit on the ground like 10 feet from where you're going to walk into the airport. Right. Because so if they just like take one of those staircases and push it up to the plane, <laughs> you can get everybody off. could get off, but they made us wait. Yeah. You know, I flew into uh, LaGuardia one time, and the same thing happened, and we taxied, and we taxied, and we taxied. Turned out we taxied over to Kennedy. We actually landed at LaGuardia and taxied to Kennedy. Got across Bronx. Like a 90-minute drive. Yes, it was horrible. <laughs> um, but at least, but at least you had some purpose. At least you were moving, you know? Did you, uh, did you start your acting career here in New York? Yes, I did. How, I, how did that begin? Uh, I moved here when I was 18 mm -hmm. to go to Juilliard. Well. Yeah, well. Now, is it true that they take only the best, only the most talented people in, in acting and music and so um, forth? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, they try, yeah, I guess, sure. you know. But uh, there's always a couple of people that sort of slide through, even though they, they, they cut. But did you enjoy the experience there? Yeah, it was a great school. Mm -hmm. And then really what, what professional jobs did you begin with? I went into John Houseman's acting company. Mm -hmm called the Group One Acting Company. Um, and it was great. I went all over the country. That's how I got to Wiki Up Arizona. Otherwise, I probably, you know, wouldn't have had that rattlesnake. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you start doing, uh, uh, um, forgive me, if you didn't, did you start doing commercials? Did you start doing uh, I did a couple of commercials, but not until um, later. I did the Acting Company, then I went to the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center and did new plays. So I did like a lot of, I was in a corset uh -huh. <laughs> for five years straight, basically, in everything that I did, because it's all like classical theater. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then what are you working on now? Anything interesting? 
Uh, yeah, I'm about to go and do another play. I'm going to go and do Man and Superman mm -hmm. with E.G. Marshall, who I understand is called E.G. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's William a short, Converse It's Roberts. a shortening of his initials, E.G.? <laughs> I guess so. E.G. Yeah. E.G. is what they call him. Yeah. I haven't met him yet. I understand he's, he's and, really and where will And where will this take this place? This will be in Baltimore. Yeah. So, you know, before I was voted... Uh, Sexiest woman on television. Now I'm hoping for a sexiest woman in regional theater. <laughs> oh well, good and good luck to you and your family. So Thank when you. when do you begin doing that? <laughs> Tomorrow. Oh well, great. I'm yeah. I'm glad you could stop by and say hello Me to too. us. And, and I hope too. you have a nice run there in Baltimore. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Megan Gallagher, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back here.